All right, Zach. Mm-hmm. Moving on from the NASCAR, uh, there's a story on ESPN today. I'm showing everyone right now about Cam Newton. Yeah. And how come nobody signed? No him. one has signed him. What's going on? There's speculation the Seahawks are interested. Um, and you know, uh, former coach didn't even sign him. He traded for his backup. I mean, it's not like he signed someone else in the league. It's not like he signed Teddy. Br- I mean, uh, James Winston or, or or another quarterback. He he signed he signed Cam Newton's backup. Yeah. So where I, I'm just trying to just just going down here what it is. You know, you got bad timing with the, with the virus. You've got his injury. You got the contract uh, and all that. What do you think right now? Do you see anywhere would be a good spot for him? He, you know, he wants to start be a starter, not a backup. That, that that a team should say, you know what, we should we should give him a run. Two things I think. Uh, number one, this shows all the. I'm a everybody knows I'm a Panther fan, and I'm not a big Cam fan, so I wasn't upset that he's gone. A lot of people were. Now that you're seeing that nobody's picked him up, do y'all understand why he's gone? That's the first thing I'm going to say. <laughs> Second thing on him getting a job is this. I think the best position for him would be to not go as a backup right now. This is my opinion. Uh, and wait to see if somebody gets hurt during the season where he could go in after they open up. If, if he's healthy, they can they can give him some kind of a, a physical and they can see what he's, what he's all about. In that article – it actually brought up that he, if he would have come out in 2015 after that you know, MVP season, he would have been getting like major money. But he's deteriorated on, on two shoulder surgeries and a foot surgery. And he didn't throw the ball well in the first place. Uh, and his, his biggest uh, thing that he brought to the table was his, 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 his running. Uh, and they don't know what that's about right now because he had that foot injury last year. In, in that, if, if shoulder and foot... Nobody's going to go out there and just say, hey, you know, we're going to give you, you know, the keys to the franchise. So uh, it might be something. Go live button. It might be something where he, in the corner. he has to uh, wait till somebody gets hurt, try to go in, uh, and then start that way. If he starts as a backup, uh, it's going to be a Teddy Bridgewater situation. He might be there two years. Well, speaking of Bridgewater, I just wrote down Bridgewater. As a Panthers fan, Zach, you spent, was it $20 million on Bridgewater? It's the same thing we've been paying Cam. But you could have had Andy Dalton for seven. and Jameis Winston both for four million dollars. Yeah. Dalton's three million. He would get seven if he wins the Super Bowl. So uh, let's not yeah. act like he's getting seven million dollars. <laughs> so you could have had Dalton and Jameis for four million dollars with your new coach to play around with. Oh, instead of twenty for Bridgewater, or I guess. You know, if you if you sign Cam long term, it's going to be twenty five plus a year. He's sure he's won't. I sure he wants thirty million dollars. He probably knowing does. him and and I like and I, his agent. I'm sure I like Bridgewater, and that's still a, a <coughs> still a, a low price for a quarterback. I think he's going. I, he's still young. How many games did he win last year? Five. Yeah, he was so five. Bridgewater and o. won. He was five, five and over five and one win. He won five games last year. Dalton has five winning seasons. Yeah. and got three million. Jameis threw for five thousand yards, thirty touchdowns, had. Was blind while doing it, had LASIK surgery, and only got one million. I mean, James Winston won. Like, why wouldn't Ta- like think about Tampa not even wanting to give him two million dollars to stay in backup Brady, or it's just and then Cam not even being yeah, and, signed. Like the the whole quarterback market is just weird and insane to me. And then you got the Packers over here drafting a first round quarterback with your team trying to win the Super Bowl. Talk about Jameis. You know, okay, so so he he did throw for all those yards, and he had he had a lot of interceptions, a lot of touchdowns. Right. Okay, Brady's not playing that much longer. Mm-hmm. Why why would he just stay there and learn from if you're gonna learn from Brady? Right, and learn from Brady and see how much better your eyesight is, and then come in. I mean, that might be even be a better situation for him. I don't understand. Is it for Ron Rivera to trade for Kyle Allen? Yeah, that's and that was for, the, and for Bruce Arians to not even keep Jameis for two million a year. That tells you the coaches don't want him. Yeah. It has to like 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 what what's the other reason for the Redskins that haven't brought him in unless Cam says he's the starter if I come to Washington and then you know because uh, in Haskins we trust and Haskins Hunter trust I will tell you this uh, when when Rivera did not go get him that's a huge that's the biggest red flag of everything that we've had because Rivera left that the old regime right and he he, he won with Cam yeah he went to Super Bowl with him and 
He so didn't, and he didn't want. He wanted his backup. That's that's he very traded telling. for his backup. Yeah. People wouldn't trade for Andy Dalton. People didn't trade for Jameis. People didn't trade for Cam. Ron Rivera traded for Kyle uh, Allen. And if you're in, it, even, <laughs> why wouldn't like, you just wait and get Andy Dalton instead of trading for Kyle Allen? At, right, like any of this, like none of the quarterback it makes market so makes, I makes told any sense. You why? <laughs> I have told you why. And the Eli's over here being forced to sit and retire. It is because <laughs> they're going sense. to give Dwayne an even playing field for him to try and prove whether or not he's a franchise quarterback. You I bring think. in Kyle Allen, someone of his equivalent, you know, skill-wise they're, and age-wise, Kyle Allen was only a starter for, what, 10 games? Mm-hmm. Dwayne Haskins has only and been he a can't hold on and to Dwayne the Haskins. Dwayne Haskins has only been a starter for maybe four games, not counting the ones that he was thrown into the fire just randomly at halftime or after a quarter. So you're bringing in someone, so it's an equal quarterback challenge. You're not bringing in somebody who's been to a Super Bowl, who's been to an MVP, and telling Dwayne Haskins, "Look, but you're still going to have a fair competition to try and beat the starting quarterback." Yeah. So that's not what you do with someone last year who the organization as a whole and the coach as a whole and Jay Gruden stunted his growth. They didn't give him an opportunity to grow. For God's sakes, after the first four or five weeks, he was running damn scout team. Well, he's, so from, he Ohio, was, he's, he's from Ohio State. He had the same doubts that's I did. Beside, look, that's beside <laughs> the point. If they were to do that right now with Justin Herbert coming out of Oregon, I'd have a problem with it. If they were going to... Because, see, and I'm basing that off of he was a first-round pick. If you draft a first-round a quarterback in the first round... Jordan Love is going to be the exception. He's going to be expected to sit for as long as Aaron Rodgers can still play. I think it'll be I think, I think he under, he's, he's, he's leaving. I know, but I think <laughs> I think Jordan Love understands that role. I'm, I'm going with, uh, I think he understands that role. But usually guys, when a what franchise if Rodgers just comes out tomorrow and said, exactly what trade me to New England. I'm telling you. Skip Bates. Not Skip. Who <laughs> was it? Stephen A. Smith said, I would come out and pound the table and say, trade me now. I'm and just he, saying. I, be Most awesome. first round quarterbacks that are taken are expected to do what? Come in and start and be the they franchise should. quarterback. Yeah, That's right. what you so, should. So what what's what, what's Aaron Rodgers worth? At his age. After what? the draft? Yeah. Obviously three million for Andy Dalton or one million for I don't know. Uh, what's trade, it, trade, you, trade, trade, trade wise. Know. Trade value. Depends uh, who you are. Is he a first round, round pick? pick? No. I don't think you get it. Not at his age. But why wouldn't he? I mean, you He's can only, get you can get is he thirty six? All right, Hunter. Dalton, Jameis, Cam, all these high first round picks. Dalton was a second how, round how many, pick. How many of these guys are, are lasting five years as the team's even quarterbacks anymore? So if you wouldn't give up, a fir- if your first round pick's estimated to play for five years and you could, you know. I'll say this Kevin, and I think he agrees with me on this, they've always overvalued picks right. over players. Right. I think we talked about that before. Like, right. You, you wouldn't trade too. a player for. Hall of Fame guy for I can't give you my yeah, first round pick look, for Hall of Fame you, guy. If you if oh, you you're, if you're trading looking a known at it, commodity for a chance, and that's yeah, just but weird look, to if me. you're looking right. at it this way, is Aaron Rodgers going to come in and be in that much of a difference maker with the roster you have right now? If say it is New England, no way in hell. New England's lost everybody. Say they do make a trade, New England. Say, ah, oh, we're not really going to try and get Trevor Lawrence next year. Jarrett Stidham was a stopgap. We're going to do some of our picks that we've acclimated right now and trade for Aaron Rodgers out of Green Bay. That is a huge hypothetical. Is he worth them offering up one of their first round picks? Hell no. Because that's that would go into play with why he should be mad with Green Bay. You gave up an opportunity of getting a bona fide starter to come in and help me. What is the one thing that they haven't had while Tom Brady was there? They didn't have weapons. Gronk retired and then Julian Edelman turned into your number one receiver out of the slot. Their running back situation has always been a running back by committee. So does. they've never they've never had true weapons around Tom Brady tw- towards the last few few seasons. So why would you trade a first round pick for Aaron Rodgers and not have any weapons for him? Why don't you go? What, what if he comes out and says, "Trade me to Las Vegas"? I'm surprised he wouldn't want to go out west. He's from California, Dallas. Yeah, that's what he's going to do with leverage right now. Does he really want to get right back with Mike McCarthy, though? Is he trying to get back oh, in yeah. those Mike weapons? McCarthy? No, never mind. Never no, mind. He's not wanting to do that. Um, all right, so a couple of things. 
uh, with that being said, Jerry has always said the past few years that you tell me how much it is to buy a Super Bowl ring. He'd pay it. I'll bet. Well, Robert Kraft is on the market right now for $1 million, So, Jerry, uh, there you go. That's yeah. just pocket change. He said, Who is it? Kraft, Robert is, Kraft is auctioning off some of his Super Bowl rings for <laughs> month really <laughs> charity. He's probably got 10 in this, in, of each one in like the in the corner. So, you know, the owners have surplus of them things. You think he's just got one? Mm-hmm. Ain't no in hell. He's the owner, huh? Well, look, it don't matter, really. <laughs> he's the owner. Like, listen, what's he going to do? Get on eBay listen, and try to though, find somebody else? Listen, it doesn't matter because he's the one that holds on to those Super Bowl trophies right, anyway. He's got the big ass He's got trophies. the trophies. He doesn't have to have the rings. He's, he's like, what do I need the ring for when I can swing this some bitch around and everybody will see it? I mean, he could wear six rings. He's only got ten fingers, as far as I know. Um, <laughs> they, uh, so Maybe that's why he was so <laughs> impressive with the ladies in Miami. Here's we my, won't talk about that Here's right my theory now. on the quarterback situation. Which one, Dallas or just all of them? In the NFL, everything together. So, a report came out the other day. It was Chris Sims, actually, said that he has various great good sources that Seattle tried to trade Russell Wilson for number to one the pick. Browns for the number one pick to get Baker Mayfield. They wanted Baker, too. Now, this, this well, how does that tie into everything else? When the Seahawks were good, they had a great defense, and all the money was on the defense, and Russell Wilson was making pennies. Yep. All the other teams since then have seen that. Stat came out, I heard today, that if your quarterback makes more than 15% of your cap, no team has won Super Bowl in like the past 20 years with that with that number. Uh, Matt Ryan blew a 28-3 lead with 18% of his cap. And then they said, well, well, the cap didn't blow the lead. Well, if they had 3% better defense, you'd probably won probably. the game, right? And if Kyle Shanahan didn't get all stir crazy, <laughs> yeah, you probably would just run a clock out. But yeah, um, so so with that said, so think about that. Why would they want to get rid of Russell Wilson for Baker Mayfield if not for money? money. Think okay. about it. Russell Wilson. If I'm not mistaken, is the second or third highest paid quarterback in the league now. Right, and then He's so, about thirty five million. And now the no, now the numbers are coming out that Cam could be going to Seattle. Well. If Jameis gets one million and Dalton three million, how much are you getting Cam for one year? Let's say five at the best. He don't say, no, no, no. Cam ain't taking probably less than ten for let's at least say, a year. Let's say it's ten. He might he might not have a choice. Okay, right. Let's say he takes it ten. Depends on how oh, how bad he wants to play. Okay, but if he takes ten, I've always said they have to put their pride aside, and I don't know if he can. Do you not think Pete Carroll's sitting there thinking if he takes ten, looking at the past and how they've been so far towards Russell? I've got. Six foot Russell, five eleven Russell. I got six foot six Cam. They do pretty much the exact same thing. One costs now me ten million. One costs me thirty five million. I don't want to downplay They're looking Russell at the same Wilson. Thing. Though, Dallas like is going to be. Hunter, they just tried to trade for Baker Mayfield. I know, but <laughs> they, they, they're downplaying. But let's, they are. Pete look, Carroll's downplaying. They're not downplaying me. him a lot. But I'm just saying, Russell Wilson is on a different level than Cam Newton. You're right. Russell Wilson's got the only thing that Cam has worth, that Russell Wilson doesn't is MVP. But it might not be Russell worth Wilson's 20, got the hardware. It might not be even worth twenty million dollars to them. You know, Russell Wilson has never had an MVP vote. I knew that. And guess not what? One vote. And guess what else is funny? So Cam's got what five losing seasons. Russell Wilson ha- doesn't have a losing season in his career. I think Cam. He's got a winning c- record traveling from West Coast to East Coast. I think we went through Seattle to get to the championship that year too. You did. Uh, that was the game. You guys are in the championship game. You're up fourteen to nothing before Cam ever threw a pass. Mm-hmm. Um, what happened was you drove on the first drive, and then Keekley got to pick six on the second one, and then you're sitting there up fourteen nothing. That was before you in the first drive. You just drove down your throats, handing the ball off. Cam made a run too as well on that drive, and you scored. But he never even threw a pass, and y'all up fourteen to nothing. And uh, now with that said, he made a great pass into the end of that game. Greg Olson. Uh, to that win, was the to, one to up the scene. Up the, wasn't it? Up yep. the scene. I forgot about that. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, and again, your defense had to pick six in the game. So. Here, the, here's the only problem <laughs> still, I have with Seattle, even considering the notion, if you do go the crazy route, bring in Cam to replace Russell Wilson, that defense is nowhere near what it was when you had the Legion of Boom. You had Earl Thomas, you had Bruce Irvin, you, had Cam, yeah, you had Cam Chancellor back there, the, the two no. huge safeties. You had, in his prime, Richard Sherman at the corner position. What you have right now is nowhere close to it. I think it, the only thing you have right now that you can hang your hat on is Frank Clark. That's what you traded for maybe, when you traded. Maybe, maybe you know you, you start thinking about some of this stuff though. And they was talking about Jadavian Clowney was rumored to be going to Seattle, wasn't that a little bit of so the money? Was with the money. Well, he was leaving. He Seattle. Was, okay. He's leaving Seattle it's because he doesn't now. want to be there. And it was basically, they, they, and they don't want to. They don't want to pay him the money either in Seattle. Here's people who've got MVP votes since Russell Wilson came into the league. 
Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, Lamar Jackson, Cam Newton, Patrick Mahomes, Aaron Rodgers, Adrian Peterson, Matt Ryan, J.J. Watt, Drew Brees, Todd Gurley, Ezekiel Elliott, Derek Carr, uh, DeMarco Murray, Tony Romo, Carson Wentz, Dak Prescott, Wagner. Who's Wagner? Bobby Wagner. Bobby, Bobby Wagner. Wagner. Somebody gave him an MVP vote. Whoa, and then whoa. Carson Palmer got an MVP vote. Wagner's defense for Seattle, too. Yeah, there you mm-hmm. go. There's Bobby Wagner defense. was in Seattle. So, um, if I'm not mistaken, he's back in Seattle. So, Bobby he? Wagner got more MVP votes in his career than, the than Russell Wilson has gotten. And you're telling me I'm disrespecting him. <laughs> and <laughs> that, what's crazy is, you know, I'm they not... said Peyton Manning got MVP votes. The, that was one of the years that he won MVP, and they went on to lose to Seattle in the Super Bowl. That was his 55 touchdown season, you know, the greatest, one of the best quarterback seasons we've ever seen out of a quarterback. But guess who stopped him? It was Russell Wilson and the Seahawks. Dare you not to giggle. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I couldn't. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I had Zach in a second. Okay, I'm you, almost we'll going to text Zach across the, across, Just, across the thing. I don't, I don't agree childish. with anybody right now looking at the landscape of the NFL and everybody's quarterback position. I don't agree any team really needs to move off of their quarterback for Cam Newton. The only one that should have done it would have been the Chargers if they aren't sold on Tyrod and they don't take they're, the young the young gun yeah, uh, from Oregon. Right. And they, they, they're they already they're set. Yeah, they said Tyrod, they're Tyrod's it. playing this year and then mm-hmm. – yeah, and, I understand. All you know, that. Herbert might take over for him if Herbert shines. The, but other than that, you know, just looking at the landscape, if they don't already have a quarterback that they just drafted as a rookie, who really needs a quarterback? I just still, you know, I mean, I just, people could argue and say, okay, Washington, you're the team that needs a quarterback. But I still don't know what Dwayne's going to be because he only damn started three games last year. You know, the reason nobody's got Cam is because not only do you not know about the injuries or whatever in his play. It is the baggage. It is the attention. Is it? Do you want your backup quarterback doing interviews if he is your backup? If he's your starter, yeah. Do you want him is, having is, more limelight than your starter? Is he a leader of men? Some some of the guys say yes. Some of the guys maybe may, maybe not. But. That was one of the big knocks that kept you know besides the kneeling, Colin Kaepernick. I believe. Now, now it I will was, say this it was, too. Do you want to bring Kaepernick in as a backup, knowing that every reporter in the world is going to talk to him after games and not your starters and not the other guys that are on the field? You think about you know Washington get him. Okay, so. What's it worth to Washington? Okay, so if they put Cam in that lineup, does that up him? Does that up them to, to let's just say it give them seven wins? Okay, so they're going to get a mid first round draft pick. Would they not rather go they, with Haskins and see they what he's still got? Already but, wasted a first round on. You see what? Right. So the, it's it's got a lot to do with. Okay, is he going to get us to the playoffs? No, then I don't need him. I better have. And a I draft want you to pick. think about it. Dwayne Haskins the, and Kyle Allen alone are making both less than you would have to yeah. pay. Cam Newton, and it is the fact that, you know, they've brought it up, you know, Tom's brought it up a couple <laughs> times, too. We still have Alex Smith on contract. We're still paying him that money. All right, I've got some. And that's a lot of money. Yeah. yeah it's you, like 20-something million got, a year. I mean, you guys honestly aren't looking for Super Bowl probably. We, two, already, two had, we already had dead money with Trent Williams because he didn't want to play. He didn't want to play. Alex, and You're now right. we have dead, dead money with Alex Smith because, to me, he just won't play again. Uh, this is the matter of day since last NFC East win. Cowboys 493, Eagles 492, Giants 3,447 days in the Redskins. It's been five. Since what happened? Val, it's been 5,000 days since the Redskins won a uh, last uh, playoff win. I was thinking it was 91 since they won a championship, and that might, that might they, be the last playoff That might be. Win. Um, yeah, because when we made it with Robert Griffin in, what, 2011, 2012, we lost because he blew his knee out in that game. So rumors about California, um, <laughs> 49ers and Cardinals um, do not have home games on the same day the whole season. On the same day the whole season. So um, if you're talking about rescheduling games and moving things around, Arizona may be a spot for some of these California teams. Because uh, Arizona did come out and say, you can play sports just with no fans. The, the state is open for all professional sports to be able to play. All right, Zach. Only one team in the NFL has a winning record against the Patriots since 2001. Baltimore Ravens. They're one game over 500. It's not the Ravens. Hmm. Is it the Steelers? Mm-mm. Any more guesses? You talking about the whole AFC? I didn't say the AFC. Or just the team? Best record versus the Patriots since 2001. Carolina Panthers. Yes. <laughs> I remember playing them. <laughs> The Panthers are the only team in the NFL, oh, according to this, know. according to this tweet, and it may be wrong. And, I, and if it is, you know, 
Sorry. Uh, but according Sorry. to this tweet, uh, Panthers are 3-2 and two versus the Patriots. One game over 500, the only team in the NFL over wow. 500 against the New England wow. Patriots. I'm really surprised Listen, that Baltimore didn't have a better record. Than I'll, I'll just say this. They're not even on the That speaks top volumes really more to how great the Patriots are. And the Panthers. No, oh, I think yeah. it, it's not familiarity <laughs> yeah. with each other. Right. Also, I'm uh, just Luke Kuechly tackled Gronk in the end zone on a pass interference that was not and called. We will, and we will never forget that. <laughs> we will never that let anybody forget would, that. would change that winning percentage yeah. I real think quick. that was the – was that this one? He's face guarding. Oh, yeah. Face guarding. Yeah. 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 I, yeah. I, I was close enough to throw the flag on that play. I was yeah. like the eighth row, I think, yeah. in the He's end zone. He's face guarding him like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Didn't even turn around and look at the ball. Unbelievable! There was no flag thrown on that play. Um, Hunter, real quick on I racing, <laughs> I'll show you, show you that video. You can just kind of watch it while I'm playing. This is my pit stop uh, on the PlayStation Two yesterday. My my son and I were working on it, and there was a wreck in the pit sack, and one of the cars got sideways. And I mean, on its side, between my pit wall and me, and where my pit guys were. Have you ever seen see anything like that? Is how can the video game not get the pits right? Like, why are we crashing in the hey, pits? Hey, hey, whoa, wait a minute now. It got to keep the physics right. <laughs> it's got to be real. Each other. It's got to be real. There's a, there's a picture of it, Hunter, of it, of him up against the wall. Is that, Hunter, How'd you, you get out of that? You see it over there. Well, I was fine. Uh, I don't know how he got out of it. <laughs> I, I was in my that. pit. I don't know how he fixed that. I don't know how he fixed that. But, yeah, the, so uh, the, the son, you know, has been watching the iRacing. Mm -hmm. and he's been wanting to do it, and he, he's realizing how hard it is to keep those NASCAR cars uh, actually on the track. All right, Zach, Steelers, real quick. Hunter ha Hunter was poo-pooing Roethlisberger. Yeah. I'm reading you the teams they're playing against and the quarterbacks, and I want you to give me win-loss. Let's count them up, okay? The, the, the Steelers are playing against? Yes. Now, in his career, he's only had one season under five. No, it was a never, wasn't it? He never. He, was it was a seven and eight. I, I better pull up real quick before, so to make sure I'm accurate on the Ben Roethlisberger stat. Um but I don't think he's – it's either zero or one losing season in his career out of 14. It won't take me long to figure it out, folks. I promise you. Look, man. One. He was seven and eight was was the one year. Don't look mad at me. Hold on. We'll see what Zach does. I'll see what he's, how he is off his injury. Giants, Daniel Jones. What what, what are you asking? I still win don't... loss, win loss, Steelers. That's who they play, the Giants. Oh, you're talking about this coming season? Yeah, I want okay. you to say win-loss on, on uh, I'm asking They're beating you. the Giants. Keep, and we're going to keep up see what They're you They're beating the Giants. I know what you're doing now. I was trying to think. You was going right. to ask me if he played. No, What's I, his record against Peyton Manning? Or? Yeah. At the Giants in week one. Week two at home against Drew Locke and the Broncos. That should be a win. Broncos in Pittsburgh. That should be a win. Texans in Pittsburgh. In Pittsburgh? Mm -hmm. God, I'd have to give it to Pittsburgh. Minka Fitzpatrick back there. Week four at Tennessee. I think they lose that one. Okay. Week five at home versus Philadelphia. Now, the Steelers were eight and eight last year. I'm going to say they're going to win. They're hard to beat in Pittsburgh. I'm going to go. If Roethlisberger's playing, I say they win. All right. Home versus the Brownies. They're winning that game. Hey, easy, easy, easy. At Baltimore. They're getting beat. At Dallas. Lose. Home against Cincinnati. Win. At Jacksonville. Win. Home against the Ravens. Loss. Home. Hunter can answer this one. Redskins. <laughs> <laughs> How about Steelers at Bills, Zach? Loss. That's going to be a good game. That's Hunter's says. That's going to be a good game. Team. Steelers at Bengals. Uh, win. Home against the Colts. Ooh, that's going to be a good game. Phillip home? Phillip Rivers at home. Ooh. Uh, Indianapolis at home? No, in Pittsburgh. In, in, oh, it's going to be cold. In Dece December 27th. They're losing. They're losing. <laughs> they're, they're, no, no. I'm saying pay, uh, uh, the Colts, Colts are, are lose. losing. All right. Yeah. And last game of the season at the Browns. I'm going to say they lose that game. So. Zach Scott, I'm gonna say they split. Trap yeah. Game. Zach Scott Steelers at ten and six. I think that's fair. Um, and the way we did the math on it, most teams last year that had a winning record made the playoffs. I think two only two teams with a winning record would have missed the playoffs or five hundred. Five two teams at five hundred would have missed the playoffs. So they even about made it every, without him last year. Right, they were eight and eight last yeah. year. So any every team with a winning record last year or would would make this playoff format. 
this year. And so Hunter says they're going to be worse. And he's he's at least worth two games, right? I don't know. Ask Over him. Mason Rudolph? What, two games? You can give him two games, but. That's 10 to 6. Listen, all I got to know, <laughs> all I got to know is how that arm's going to be coming back because it was his throwing arm that he injured and it was his elbow. Okay, it was his elbow. And Ben is old. I think He's it's, old, man. I think it's a great spot for Cam. Ben, ben is different than Tom. Ben doesn't take care of his body. I think, Tom I, takes care don't. of every bit of his body, and he is so much into just trying to stay in shape. Ben, spends ben millions looks like of he just got off the it. couch eating Cheetos. And Listen, that's what he does. George Foreman won a heavyweight championship he eating did. cheeseburgers off, a gr- off, a, off an indoor grill. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying. I'm, I'm doing saying. this. He is. You watch the video. Ben is pushing late 30s. And he's coming off of he a major. He might be in his forties. He's, he's not, he's not quite, yet. Not he's not quite. the same age. Here, hold on, I got <laughs> Eli. This thing up. Eli's right at. But did Eli retire at thirty-eight? Hey, I was gonna say him and Philip and all them. Ben same will age. be thirty-eight this season. But say, he's, he's still he's still late thirties, late thirties, closer to forty. I think that's a good. If Cam be a backup, I think that's a good backup spot. Oh yeah, because the other two backup quarterbacks are trash. Especially if uh, if if Ben gets well, hurt, you can throw you, him in. Cam won't be a backup if he can't get his ego passed. <laughs> his his camp is set up to wait in case something happens and a starter gets hurt. I just want to see him come out dressed like uh, Red Riding Hood in, in Steelers Nation. The only other place I could see Cam going if they're totally done with their quarterback is Detroit. If they're all, if they're just done with Stafford, then I could see him in Detroit. But ten and six is is, is, is that's that's the Steelers. That's the Steelers every year. I nine and seven, going, ten and six. I that's what they are. Eight and eight, seven and nine. Rams new uniforms. They're Trash. They're on the screen. Garbage. I didn't like them uh, when we seen them first time. I actually liked them today. No, I can't. But I, I but do like. Child, I do like the I old uh, the old the, Ram thing. I'm not but. getting a good look on the helmet though. So it's I'm, more like a straight than more than than, than I've Ram got, hook. I'm gonna pull that up. Uh, I saw it on mine earlier. I I didn't think it looked horrible. I can't stand it. Uh, I hate the Chargers. The logo. Oh, the Chargers it's got the, the the the. Oh God! They even did the. No. Why would they do the horn like that on the yeah, actual straight. helmet? It ain't like it ain't they, like no, a they, rounded thing. They cut thing. it in half. Yeah. I'm telling you, dude. I, I don't like you them had the, at you all. You had a perfect helmet design, and then you did that. It looks like the Chargers now, really. The Chargers got a new outfit. Yeah, and the Chargers they, look good. I liked it. Like I, I understood. You know, I understand doing a new logo and stuff like that that you're in LA. But as far as the helmet goes. Well, I mean, they've been wearing those white ones. What was the point of them wearing the white ones if that's weren't they, where they were going, Hunter? I thought that was the whole reason they were wearing the white ones, so they didn't match. And they said so they didn't match the last two seasons for no reason whatsoever. Then, because the whole deal was they were supposed to be going to the white like they used to, and they were honoring the white helmets in L.A. by not wearing the gold out there in the yellow, and because but they couldn't change their jerseys because of the licensing deal. So they've been out there not matching for two years, but just based on <laughs> jeez. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I don't know why I care. I'm not a Rams fan. It looks, like the, my, it looks like Mike Hart from the Appalachian State game. But, <laughs> but Hunter, you know how I've been talking, yeah, you know how I've been talking about the pants you, you should be kind of more, you know, something to do with your logo. You can kind of incorporate that. So they went all out on changing the helmet, but then on the pants, it's just, just a strike. It's just no, nothing fancy. Dude, no I nothing. hate everything about it. Hunter, Hunter's going to be. What about the they got a gradient now on the like numbers that. like the Falcons got a yeah this is a Shelby Golden Line design. I think the blue ones the blue jerseys look decent the the white ones You want to know what I, I don't, don't like, that like at the, all. you want to know it what looks I like, don't It looks like Detroit Lions with yellow shoes. I don't shoes. like the helmets or the white. You know what I don't like at all about the uniforms? Look in the top look in the top left corner of the uniform. It says Los Angeles Rams right there. <laughs> I can't see It's that. like it's like a, it's like a patch yeah. that's been sewn on that says the Los Angeles Rams. You can see it really good there on that white one. Look, there's a patch there on the left corner, and it says Los Angeles Rams. Hmm. I mean, why don't you just have Rams or L.A. printed across the front of the shirt? Why has it got to be a separate patch? The I, I swear that helmet looks more like a chart. Like, why is the horn in, in two different sections? I don't know. Kevin, me and you both said, I, I well, I definitely let it be known that I hated they have the a look they have a, when they made the new uh, logo change. I definitely don't like these lo- these uniforms. And have, like you said, I'm not a Rams fan. I'm just telling moon. you how it looks. That's I can't a moon, stand it. The uh, and the Panthers little thingamajigger there. The uh, the Chargers new new outfits look pretty sweet. They're they're on right. a little bit. They look they look pretty cool. But I'm a fan <sighs> of the powder blue anyway. So 
<clears throat> yeah, they, they they made like five different ones to so, so they they get if they messed up on one, they can at least you know not wear it. Uh, not not like what they just did. And the Patriots are. What, have you seen their awful plain Jane? I didn't. I didn't. I couldn't really see. It just didn't stick out of anything. It, it's just. It it's, looks normal. It's like it's like Belichick went there looked, and to said, me, "Give me whatever people would complain about the right. most." To me, if you're gonna do a uniform change, dude. Do a uniform change. Like what the Rams did right now. It's very fairly obvious that you did a uniform change. Whereas what you're speaking of, the Patriots, they're saying, look at our new uniforms. And I'm looking at it, and I'm like, what's the difference? Just make them look like a hoodie. <laughs> that would be funny. Just I'm, I'm just looking at it. I'm like, what's different? That would be funny, yeah. What's different? If, you, if you're going to tell me you're changing the uniform, right? then change the damn uniform. Don't be like, oh, well, we added another stripe to the sleeve. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, that's a really big change, buddy. All right, uh, moving on real quick. 